It's part of what's being called the Trump effect. His executive orders and the protests they've spawned have people reaching for their wallets in support of organizations dedicated to civil liberties, from local nonprofits to big national players. Brianna venozzi has been following the money. She joins us from the ACLU in Newark. Brianna? Yes, good evening, Mary Alice. We're live at the headquarters for the ACLU New Jersey here in Newark. This is one of the major nonprofits I spoke with today seeing an unprecedented level of support. Now, in some cases, the donations and volunteers are double, even triple what an organization might see in an entire year. The focus is on progressive causes, climate research, reproductive health, immigration rights. And we were told today that many of the donors are first-timers. Politicians respond to votes and money. I intend to use both to try to shape their actions. In the days following Donald Trump's election, Democrats Corey Hughes and Jack Gattinella put their frustrations to work, donating to nonprofits whose platforms counter the Trump administration's agenda. And it's not a lot per month, but whatever I can do, this will help. And then also maybe showing up to some protests here and there, uh, depending on uh, what their goals are. What can you tell me about the level of support the ACLU has seen in the days since the election? Well, we've seen a very significant uptick, uptick in support um, with new members, many new members. Um, we have acquired about six or 7,000 new members, I believe, just since the election. And that is against um, a prior member count of about 15,000. Groups like the American Civil Liberties Union are seeing a surge in contributions. Website visits and volunteer applications are increasing. National membership is doubled. And since the ACLU's intervention with the executive order issuing a travel ban, big money is pouring in. So we took in $24 million over the weekend, um, and that's compared to a normal website traffic in a year of three or $4 million. People want to make their voices heard. They want to see this change. They want to continue the progress that we've made. Defunding Planned Parenthood has been a mainstay of the Republican ticket, and since Trump's election, the national and New Jersey chapters are seeing increased support. Not only folks who are coming out and donating financially, but people who are donating their time and their passion and coming out uh, to events that we've been holding all across the state because they want to take action. They want to get involved. We've actually had a, a significant outpouring of support for us uh, from Muslims and non-Muslims. Um, we've gotten a number of emails for people, uh, you know, that are offering to, to help, to volunteer, to uh, just out, reach out to their communities and support Muslims and Islam in any way they can. Jim Sues with New Jersey's Council on American Islamic Relations says unsolicited donations are up. He hopes it continues across the board. I want to do anything that I can to try to help out uh, the organization. I hope that uh, they'll, they'll put the money to good use as far as protecting uh, citizens and standing up for them. And Mary Alice, the question now turns to sustainability. Civil liberties advocates don't expect to see this grassroots activism dwindle, but remember this has all happened in the first couple of weeks of a four-year term. And remember, for every bit of activism countering the Trump administration, there are many millions of Americans who support his agenda. We're live in Newark. I'm Brianna Venozzi. I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Brianna.